Now, a special holiday presentation of The Locker Room. And good evening, everyone. Welcome inside a very special yes. edition of The Locker Room. <laughs> that man is my elf, Elijah Collins. I am jolly Santa Claus, Justin Prince. Thanks so much for making us a part of your night. Elijah, I know we were approaching your first full year here yes. in the Hoosier State, but we always like to wrap things up this time of year in a very special, special way. Yeah, that's right, JP. Every year we've liked to provide the best of the moments in the athletics from this year that was. We've certainly seen plenty of spectacular, obviously, moments during my almost year here in Indiana. And over the next two nights, we'll present to you the locker room's top ten moments of the past year. So... Let's get started, right? Yes, Elijah, let's. Now, while we are only listing off 10, there were plenty of other moments worthy of the list, but just barely missing the cut. Let's see those, shall we? One of those that just missed was the Fairfield girls basketball team. Brody Garber's Eagles were phenomenal all season long. They finished with 24 and four record, as well as sectional and regional titles. And speaking of girls hoops, no one in the area might have been better than the Garrett girls a year ago. The Railroaders won NECC regular season and tourney titles, finishing the season 27 and two overall, advancing all the way to semi-state before falling just short of a trip to the Class 3A state title game. And hey, speaking of hoops, next up on that list is the Leo boys basketball team. Kerry Cogdell's Lions finished a spectacular 21 and six with sectional and regional titles, but fell just short of a second straight trip to the Class 3A state finals. And last on our honorable mention list is another squad from Leo, the Lions softball team, Ben Chappelle and company, stellar all season, finishing 28 and three with any eight sectional and regional titles. The only thing separating them from a trip to state was a one nothing 13 inning loss to South Bend St. Joe in semi-state. All good for them all. And now it's time we move on to our top 10, coming in at number 10. The Purdue Fort Wayne women's soccer team, the Mastodons, having a breakout 2022 campaign behind Horizon League Goalie of the Year, Sam Castaneda. The Dons won their first ever Horizon League regular season title. They did, however, fall just short of an NCAA berth, losing to Youngstown State in the Horizon League semifinals, to finishing the year 9, 4, and 6 overall. We stay on the pitch now at number nine, and once again, it's another Leo squad. Pretty good, uh, pretty good last, you know, good. 12 months for them. <laughs> the Lady Lions soccer team once again with a phenomenal season. Mike Bittler and company finishing the year with an 18-5 record, bringing home any eight sectional and regional titles, as well as the program's first ever semi-state crown with a 1-0 victory over Mishawaka. Marion, however, the Lions did come up just short in the Class 2A state title game, falling to Evansville Memorial 4-0 to finish as Class 2A state runner-ups. All right, we make our way to the volleyball court for our number eight moment of the year. How good was Belmont volleyball team this pretty, year? Pretty good, I'd say. Pretty good, JP. The Braves were phenomenal once again this season. The Braves making it all the way to the Class 3A state finals for the second straight year and third time in the past four years. Unfortunately, just like the previous two times, the Braves falling once again in the 3A state title game, this time 3-1 to one to Providence. Craig Crawl's squad finished 30-6 and six overall with an NE8 title on the top of their state run-up finish. In at number seven, we head back over to Purdue Fort Wayne's campus. The Mastodon men's basketball team also providing their championship moment a year ago. The Dons winning nine straight games over the season's final month last year to claim a share of their first Horizon League regular season title. Behind first team all-conference guard Jared Godfrey, the Dons actually advanced all the way to the Horizon League semis before falling to Northern Kentucky. The Dons finished the year 21 and 12 overall and Horizon League co-champs for the first time ever. And our final moment tonight comes courtesy of Adam Central football team. The Jets come in at number six after once again proving they are one of the best small school programs in the state. Michael Mosier squad ripped off an undefeated regular season as well as ACAC sectional, regional, and semi-state titles, making it all the way to the Class 1A state championship game for a second consecutive season. Unfortunately, the Jets once again could not take down Indianapolis Lutheran, falling to the Saints in the 1A title game for the second straight year. Now the Jets finished 14 and one and state runner-ups once again. All righty, so that is going to take care of our first half of the locker room's top 10 moments of 2022, Elijah. Yeah, you saw 10 through six tonight, but make sure you check back in tomorrow. Tomorrow night, Elijah and I will reveal moments five through one in the locker room's top 10 moments of 2022. So for now, 
Becky and I are going to say goodnight. We will check back in with you all tomorrow.